Hey church, welcome to our Audacious Church devotional. Today, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Hannah, one of the pastors here at church, and we are looking at relationships in the Bible, reading through the Bible and looking at different relationships to see what gold, what lessons can we learn from these relationships to draw them into our lives, in our relationships. So good job for just carving out a bit of time to read the Word of God and tune your ear into hearing what God has to say for you today. He always has something to say. We just got to tune it ear in and say, I am listening. Well, today we're reflecting on the relationship between Mary and Jesus. Mary, the mother of Jesus and him. And uh, it's an amazing relationship. I want to encourage you, maybe if you have never done this, why don't you grab the book of Luke from the Bible and just read through it from the perspective of Mary, this girl. The first time we encounter her is at the beginning of Luke, where there's that scene, we know it probably very well, it's a very familiar scene, where Angel Gabriel goes to Mary and says, you are going to give birth to a son, and he will be the son of God, and you are to name him Jesus. What a moment, what a scene. And Mary's first response is very practical, she just how? How is that going to happen? She's a virgin. She's engaged to a man. She's just like, what? How is this going to happen? And then her second response, it's like some just supernatural happens. Some faith ignites in her and she just says, yes. She says yes to Jesus. Yes to becoming pregnant with the son of God. She says, yes. And then it just says, and the angel left. And she becomes pregnant with Jesus and she carries the son of God in her womb. She gives birth to him and just picture it. She knows it's the son of God. She's, she's feeding him. She's teaching him to walk. She's picking him up. She's loving him, doing everything that parents do to a normal child. And yet she knows who this child is. And really the lesson what I want to draw from the relationship between Mary and Jesus is actually a lesson for our relationship with Jesus. What I love about Mary is I feel like she never loses, loses sight that Jesus was a gift to her, but not just for her. Mary seems to never hold on to Jesus to tightly the baby that she's given birth to the child she's taught to walk the child she's taught about life and walked hand in hand she never holds on to him too tightly in fact you know you'll know the first miracle is actually the water into wine is prompted by her she's saying come on Jesus do something you can do something here and I want you to keep that in mind when you read about Jesus's ministry and every miracle that he does, that behind him was Mary continuously giving him to the world, saying, you are my son, but you're God's son. I'm, you're not just for me. You were given to me to carry, but you're not just for me. You're for the world. You know, I have children myself. I am a mother. I have three girls. And we often read the story or watch the story of Rapunzel. <laughs> Stay with me on this. We watch the story of Rapunzel. Rapunzel obviously is, you know, it's a made up story, but she has these amazing powers in her hair to heal people. Um, and Mother Gothel, I was watching it the other day and just thinking she's the exact opposite to Mary. <laughs> mother Gothel, the mother of Rapunzel, she just locks her up in a tower and says, you're for me. You're for my healing. This is what I need. So I'm going to lock you away for nobody else to have you. And I was just thinking today, my encouragement is to be more Mary with Jesus and less Mother Gothel. <laughs> Sometimes we can feel that Jesus is for us. We say yes to Jesus. He's for our healing. He's for our peace. He's for our salvation. But I want to encourage you today. He's not just for us. He's for that person that maybe you sat next to right now with your headphones in at work. He's for the person in your family that doesn't know him. He's for your neighbor that you're waving at across the street. Don't hold him too tightly. 
He's a gift to you that you have said yes to, but he's also a gift to the world. This final moment of just remembering that Mary never lost sight, that Jesus wasn't just for her, is that moment in the Bible where Jesus is dying in John 19, he's on the cross. And it says that Jesus looks and he sees Mary, his mother, has stood there watching her child, the child that she has carried, the child that she has held hands with, and she's watching him die on the cross. And it's the final act of her saying, I know you were given to me, but you are not just for me. What a woman, what a lesson to learn that Jesus, he is not just for us, he's for the world. So I pray today that we would have that inside of us again, that decision that when you said yes to Jesus, he was and is for you. But a reminder that the Holy Spirit would help it rest on us today, that he is not just for me, but he's for the person next to me in my workplace. He's for my family. So come on, let's pray as we end this devotion. God, I thank you so much for your son, Jesus. We thank you that you gave him to us. We thank you, Jesus, that you died on the cross for us. And God, I pray for every person watching this devotion, hearing these words right now. I pray for a renewed sense of just thankfulness for your son, for you, Jesus. But a reminder, a new sense, a reminder that it's not a secret to be hidden, to be kept to ourselves. But Jesus, that you are to be shared the good news of the cross, the good news of Jesus is to be shared. And I pray right now that you would illuminate, you'd highlight people to us just to speak the good news to, to share you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, we love you, church, so much. Thanks for tuning in and keep tuning in. Keep making space for the word of God. We'll see you really soon.